Well, let's cut straight to the big question. If every woman who's lucky enough to live to be over 50 goes through menopause, why haven't we been talking about it for so long? You know, isn't that a big question? Um, yeah. Given the fact that menopause, every person born with ovaries will go through menopause. It is not an optional activity. Um, and women have been going through this forever and looking for solutions forever and have been met with silence. And unfortunately, um, as uh, Laura was mentioning, that study done in the 1990s was the first large scale study, the Women's mm -hmm. Health Initiative, where women were involved and they were attempting to answer some of these questions. Unfortunately, um, it went very wrong, <laughs> let's just say. The study was poorly designed and the questions that it sought to answer um, never really got adequately dealt with. Now, 55 million women in this country are menopausal at any given time. 6,000 women join those ranks every day. And the notion that you would enter this phase of your life, which fully will encompass a third of your remaining years, with having no information about how to deal with it, what to expect when you get to menopause, and more importantly, what to do about it. Because menopause isn't just, um, it isn't just a hot flash. And I think that's sort of the comic relief that we have about, you know, you think about women sticking their heads in the freezer, but it's a much more profound um, set of circumstances that affect women once they enter menopause. 